time to ponder in the fields around me. But there's nothing but the breeze in the grave. Well, hello there, and welcome back to the Awesome Aussie Bush. It is so good to be back outside again. I'm out here another adventure. I've got about three days up my sleeves to explore this amazing place. I've never been here before. The water is crystal clear. I'm really excited. I've got some good food to cook up. It's going to be a cracker, guys. <laughs> he just starts walking without finishing the intro. Come on, mate. I'm like a kid in a candy store, or a toy shop, or both. Uh, I haven't smiled this much and been this excited out in the bush in a very long time. Uh, it's a combination of exploring a new place, seeing this beautiful river with the crystal clear water. It's so clear. Uh, and just the thrill of not knowing what's around the next bend, not knowing where I'm going to camp. Uh, this is really cool. I have wanted to come here for a very long time. Um, it's very remote, it took me five hours to drive here uh, this morning and uh, I was a little bit uncertain because I could see from the satellite imagery that this place had been really heavily impacted by the 2019 and 20 fires. Uh, it's hard to think that was four years ago already, crazy. There's definite evidence of the, the fire around here but the river itself is absolutely beautiful. I'm absolutely buzzing. This is my jam. This is what Eric Hoff Track is all about. It's about finding these amazing places, walking in a river, exploring. Oh, so good to be outside.
So I've been walking for about an hour now and yeah, just beautiful, beautiful walking. Really lovely river, so yeah, <laughs> this is pretty cool. I'm really glad I came. I don't have much of a plan today other than uh, it's about two o'clock in the afternoon now. I wanna walk for maybe two or three more hours, see how far I can punch up into this river and then look for a campsite. I do have a pretty exciting dinner I wanna cook tonight and it is gonna take some time. And so I wanna make sure I'm set up and, uh, and have a campsite. So I have time to cook, not under lights. So yeah, their camping does look to be pretty slim in the river so far, but every now and again you get like a sandy, a sandy beach like behind me there. And so uh, yeah, something like that will probably do the job quite nicely. Just hoping I can find one when it's uh, time to stop. I've hiked in a lot of beautiful places over the years, but uh, this would have to be some of the cleanest and clearest water I've ever had the privilege of walking through. It's uh, just delightful. Alrighty, well, walking's going pretty well. Um, each river has its challenges when you're doing a walk like this, and yeah, the stones aren't particularly well bedded in, they do slip and slide a fair bit, but yeah, all in all, progress is going pretty well. Um, it's gone just after three o'clock in the afternoon. I wanna find camp now in the next hour or so. And I've just, just had a quick look at the maps. The next kilometer of river uh, looks to be relatively straight and a little bit more open, but, and by open I mean the cliffs are a little bit further back. After about a kilometre or so, the cliffs start to pinch the river, and so I'm thinking my best bet for a campsite might be in the next K or so. I could really use a bite to eat. I'm pretty, um, pretty hungry, but I reckon I might push on and see if I can make an early camp, and uh, yeah, I think that's what we'll do. So this could be it. This is the sort of place I'm looking for for a camp tonight. I've got a nice sandy, I've got a nice sandy bank here. I've got a beautiful pool and a bit of flowing water right behind the camera and to my right, I think it is. Um, I'm not very far upstream, so I wouldn't mind pushing on another half a kilometer or so to see if I can find something else. But I've just taken a waypoint. If I don't get good camp vibes a little bit further up, I'm going to hightail it back down here because this is a pretty nice spot. Yeah, this could be a winner, but you never know what's around the next bend. Let's go have a look.
<laughs> All right, I'm excited. Uh, there is no way that this place is not camp. This is more than I could possibly have dreamed for. Perfectly fat sandy bank, beautiful pool over there. Behind me on that rock shelf is a, uh, a natural spa bath. And have a look at the scenery. <laughs> this, this is the best place I have camped in a very long time. Well, it's, um, it's much earlier than I would normally camp, but I'm going to enjoy this. A lot of my hikes are, are pretty full on, and uh, sometimes you just need to smell the she-oaks or whatever else is growing around here. Um, yeah, time to kick back. I'm going to have a swim, I'm going to get some dinner on, get the tent up. Good times. love it when a plan comes together. Well, not that I had a plan, but how good is this? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna pretty much put the tent right where I'm standing. Got a nice, got a nice bit of flat ground behind me. Um, get that set up, set up now, so I don't have to worry about it later on. And then, yeah, I'm gonna make the most of having a sun and jump in the river, I think. Alrighty, how good is it getting to camp early? <laughs> I'm never at camp this early, it's amazing. Um, I've had time to get my tent squared away, all my sleeping gears sorted away. I've got my uh, clothes that I was wearing during the course of the day drying on trees. Um, I've put all my kind of cooking utensils and food and equipment over in the grassy bank just out of shot. Um, changing the shorts, uh, yeah, this is great. So I think I'm gonna go for a swim, have a quick dip in that little natural spa bath, I can't resist. And uh, yeah, then I've got quite a, it's, it's a simple dish, but it's got multiple steps. And so there is gonna be a bit of time required uh, to prepare this one. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it, but um, first a dip and then we'll get on to dinner.
Now, cooking on the sand is not ideal, so I've got a few local materials, uh, a bit of a log and a couple of rocks, just to help keep my food and knife and all that kind of stuff out of the sand. Um, I'm pretty excited. Tonight I'm going to make some beef satay. Um, I've got a lot of ingredients with me. I've essentially pre-made a marinade. So the first thing I need to do is get my rump steak, chop it up and put it in here. And then I've got a satay sauce, which I have essentially put all the ingredients in a bag. And then I'll uh, simmer that later on. So first step is to get this big piece of rump. <laughs> it's actually massive, much more than I need, but it's all I had in the freezer at home. So oh, it's what I've got. Um, so yeah, I need to take out the bag, chop it up and then put it in the marinade. And then uh, next step will be, once that's kind of had about half an hour in there, uh, I need to find some skewers. So hopefully there's a down limb somewhere and get some green twigs and uh, uh, yeah, we'll make the skewers. So, all right. Now, unfortunately every fly and his mate has found me. So uh, this is gonna get pretty, pretty flyy pretty quickly, I suspect. Now these are just, uh, vacuum seal bag so I've basically just sealed both ends of the bag so it doesn't spill in my bag. Um, I'm going to cut a very small a very small opening a few centimeters and I'll put my beef in that and hopefully that'll keep the flies out as well. Yes this would be a little bit easier if it wasn't uh, on the sandy beach but it is what it is. Do have a, um, a new knife. This is a Spyderco Manix, a lightweight edition. So yeah, nice, um, nice steady blade, pretty lightweight. I think it's about 70 or 80 grams, something like that. Um, yeah, it's been a good addition to the kit. Okay, now I want to cut these uh, up roughly in similar sized cubes. So um, we'll just make a bit of a start here. Cut some of that fat off. That can be a decoy for the flies. It's definitely a fly party over here, that's for sure. Um, so yeah, that's just going to do its thing, that's marinating. Um, this is just a beef satay recipe, it's the, literally the first one I got off Google. It sounded pretty good. Um, so yeah, if you, if you want to try this, um, I'll post a link to the recipe in the video description. But I'm going to give that maybe 45 minutes just to do its thing. Probably just long enough for me to uh, crack a beer and enjoy this amazing spot. Oh, that is cheeky. A cheeky little beverage. In case you're wondering, I've got a Behemoth Hoppy Archers IPA, and it is delicious. <laughs> well, I'm going to enjoy this. The battery on that camera is almost out, so I've got to go change that one. I'm going to shut the camera off for half hour, enjoy this, and uh, yeah, we'll get back once we're cooking the beef satay.
Alrighty, so I've got my satay in here. I'm just going to put that on the fire, really low heat. All I want it to do is warm up and reduce very slightly. The fire is quite hot. I'm letting it die down so I can cook. Uh, I'm just going to put it on the side for the time being. Well, that looks really good. It's been um, marinating now for about, I don't know, 45 minutes. So, I can't remember exactly what's in here. It's like uh, coconut milk, curry powder, red uh, curry paste, that kind of stuff. And then the, the satay sauce has got um, uh, a bit more of the sort of peanut sauce. So, peanut butter. Then the satay sauce has got peanut butter, red curry paste again. Um, again, I'll put the link to this recipe, which is not mine. I've just grabbed it off the internet. Um, I'll put that in the description, so if you want to make this, you can make it. Okay, I'm just going to try and get these done. So it's a little bit messy, but you get the gist. So I'm just going to make three of these, about this size, I think. Um, try and spread out a bit so the meat will cook pretty easily. That's one. Oh my god, I'm making such a mess here. So pretty stoked with how that um, how that turned out. Uh, wow, they look amazing. They smell amazing. You would certainly be happy. This is definitely like man size. You'd definitely be stoked if you got this kind of portion at a restaurant. Um, I'm going to save you guys the absolute horror of watching me try and eat this, uh, particularly with like six million flies about. But uh, it's going to be delicious. I'll check in after this one's all polished off. Oh. How good does that look? Okay, talk soon. That was delicious. <laughs> um, I'm glad I didn't feel myself eating that because, yeah, I made quite the mess. <laughs> it was okay once I started taking the bits of meat off the sticks, um, but yeah, that went down absolute treat, really, really tasty. Um, oh, it's been such a, such a pleasant day. It's been, yeah, it's a long drive to get here, but it's been such a, such a beautiful walk up this river, exploring new places. It's been actually quite some time since I've been to a, a new, new place. And um, yeah, that buzz of seeing what's around the corner, getting a feel for a new place, you know, having looked at maps, seeing it for yourself in, in real life it's a really awesome feeling and a big part of why I do I do this kind of thing. So yeah it's been a bit a great day it's been nice to get to camp early and relax too and uh, I tell you what I think I've got the balance of these kind of trips a lot better than I used to and uh, yeah can certainly enjoy it. I did just want to give you a quick update uh, I did mention on my last video that my life was gonna take a significant change. Um, really stoked to announce that my wife and I have become parents um, late last year and uh, my wife gave birth to a really beautiful perfect baby girl and uh, we couldn't be happier so um, yeah the last few months have been a bit of a whirlwind uh, learning the most I've learned in, in many many years um, but my daughter uh, Eva is completely awesome I love it a bit and um, yeah it's, it's great fun being a dad and 
Um, <laughs> it has its moments, of course. It's not, not the easiest thing in the world, but yeah, I wouldn't take it back and quit. So um, I just wanted to share that bit of news. Um, we're not going to you know, put photos of her up on, on social media and that kind of thing. So, uh, but yeah, she's absolutely beautiful and perfect and yeah, couldn't be happier. So uh, that might mean that <laughs> trips like this become a little bit rarer than they already are. Um, my wife's an absolute legend. She's, um, she knows how much this means to me and uh, does what she can to help uh, support me on these, these journeys. So she's an absolute legend. That's why I'm out here today. Um, I hopefully we'll get out in not too distant future as well. But after that, I think, uh, yeah, the, the whirlwind of, of being uh, new parents with a, a soon-to-be mobile uh, baby will be a uh, big, big adventure. So, um, yeah, I'll keep doing what I can. Uh, I love doing this kind of thing. But, um, yeah, if you see a bit less of me, that's why I'm busy being a dad and, and having a great time doing it. So, yeah. Well, seeing I've done everything, it's not even dark yet. I'm just going to enjoy this fire. The flies have finally started to go away, which is awesome. So, yeah, I'm just going to sit back, relax look into nature's telly, and I might even have a cheeky little whiskey. I'll see you in the morning, guys. Well, good morning. Uh, currently my tent, as you can see, it's just drizzling a little bit outside. So yeah, just staying in the tent this morning. Um, last night I was able to actually have the doors of the tent open on both sides and get lots of ventilation. And this is only the second time I've used this tent, but with the doors open, you can actually get a really nice view of the night sky. So that was pretty cool. But yeah, unfortunately, um, early this morning, some clouds and mist rolled in and now it's yeah, pretty, pretty dreary day out there. So yeah, not sure what the day um, is gonna have in store for me today. Um, I do have another day up my sleeve so I could spend another night out here um, but I'm a bit nervous for the drive out because there's a number of creek crossings and <clears throat> I can't really afford to be stuck out in the bush uh, for a number of days at the moment so yeah we'll just um, we'll play it by ear. I, um, I had such a good day yesterday I ticked all my hiking boxes so if I went home today I'd be perfectly happy and uh, yeah probably end up doing that but um, yeah we'll have a coffee and breakfast and We'll reevaluate uh, once we've done that. Alrighty, all packed up and uh, yeah, on my way. It's still drizzling. It hasn't developed into any heavier rain, which is really good. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna poke upstream for a little bit, see what there is to see. And uh, yeah, then I might uh, turn around and hightail it out of here, but oh, I love walking creeks like this and rivers. It's just uh, such an awesome experience. These rocks are really, really pretty. Um, there's a large amount of different granite here, I think, which is what's getting that variation in the color. Uh, yeah, really, really pretty river. This place is interesting. It's um, one of the only places I can remember where I haven't really found any information or accounts on people having been here before. There's only one account which I've read which was from someone in the early 80s who walked through here, but that's it. So, um, yeah, fairly rarely visited place. 
but certainly a certainly an awesome one. Now from that one account that I uh, managed to track down and read about this place because that walk was done in the early 1980s the author was able to um, speak to some of the people who lived in the local area and they told him that there used to be an old settler's cabin in this river somewhere and um, yeah it just blows my mind it's like, it's probably more remote today than it, it was back in the day, but yeah, this is really tough country and there must have been, when the country is a bit more open, uh, must have been enough river flats and grass to bring stock in, I'd imagine, to warrant building a cabin out here, but you wouldn't know it from today. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately you can see the damage that the fires have done through here. There's a lot of regrowth coming up and so anything out of the river is pretty pretty dense and pretty pretty thick. Uh, on the drive in actually, getting a first glance of the ridges and the, the mountains as I was coming in here, the fire damage was really, really noticeable. Um, a lot of other places I've visited, those canopies have essentially restored themselves. Oh, certainly to a much greater degree than they have here whereas you could still see uh, a lot of bare skyline where basically there's just twigs where or branches where trees once grew so yeah this area got hammered really badly yeah this river looks actually quite different to the the stretch I walked uh, downstream and I think part of that's due to the the fire impact around me but yeah, awesome. I'm really glad I've, I've come upstream to explore because it is, it, it's different and uh, yeah, it's always cool to see. I'm about halfway to the point I sort of arbitrarily picked the map that I want to get to uh, today. So uh, yeah, we'll keep, we'll keep going a little bit further and oh, just such a good place, such a good place. So just coming up to my, uh, I guess the point of the map that I had selected where I'd probably turn around. So yeah, not too far to go now. Um, I've just seen some wild dog tracks in the in the sand. So that's a bit of a worry. I've seen a few dogs out in my travels over the years, and fortunately they never they they've never been very aggressive. They've kind of been more scared of me than I am of them. But yeah, not the sort of animal you want to run into out here. That's for sure. Just stunning, just absolutely stunning, this place.
yeah, one of those places that's been on the list for a while, but I've just put it off because the drive, the drive is so long. Um, you know, five hours each way kind of eats into your your weekend pretty substantially. But uh, so glad I came out here and yeah, so glad I came out here and yeah, definitely can come back and do more. I've reached my turnaround point. Well, actually, I walked a bit further than my turnaround point, but I think I think this will do me. Um, yeah, if I don't if I don't sort of head back now, I'm going to be driving home in the dark, and I prefer not to do that, particularly at dusk with all the, the animals around. So, yeah, it's been it's been such a such an awesome awesome trip. Um, first one in a few months for obvious reasons, but uh, uh, yeah, the batteries are recharged and. Uh, that kind of feeling you get from a exploring a new place that excitement has returned and if I'm honest I've been missing that a little bit of late so so yeah it's been a really a uh, really good trip so yeah I'm pretty keen to go home and see my daughter and my wife and uh, spend some time with them before I go back to work in, a, in about a week's time I've had a, a little bit of time off work which has been really nice but um, yeah going back soon so this has been just what I need to recharge those batteries all right turning around it actually just started raining so <laughs> that's a that's a good omen I think to turn around and get out of here um, yeah I'd be interested to see how long it takes me to get back to the car without um, without walking uh, without walking yeah that probably take a while actually um, <laughs> no interested to see how long it takes me to get back to the car without filming as much so yesterday I had the main camera out and uh, yeah shot quite a lot of footage but uh, Today I'm going to try and gun it a little bit. Nature. It's out here. Oh. Alright. Stop getting distracted, Eric. Let's go. Let's do it. Come on. Okay. Well, I made it back to my campsite from last night. Uh, how long did that take? 50 minutes, so... A little bit quicker on the way back. Oh, it was a good campsite. I've got to keep pressing on if I'm gonna get back to the car and then get out get out of here and home before it's dark, so I'll oh, keep pressing on I guess. Well I've just come across this uh, quartz outcrop which is pretty much a big vein of quartz all the way through the river. I'm actually standing on it now as well. You don't you don't see these very often. Um, I suspect because the old timers uh, chased a few of them for gold back in the day. But yeah, pretty cool to see. It's definitely getting a bit darker, so it has stopped drizzling. Uh, but uh, yeah, it does feel like it wants to kind of chuck it down. So um, I've got a long, a long drive out of here on some pretty sketchy roads. So I'm hopeful that it won't rain particularly hard because that'll make the trip out pretty, pretty challenging, I think. But so far, it's been a really enjoyable couple of days of walking, and I'm just yeah stoked for having come out here and explored this place. So last, uh, last couple hundred meters of this river to walk. So yeah, almost back at the car. Got a little bit of a, a walk to get there, but should be there pretty soon. So yeah, I think I might, uh, I might leave the video here. I just want to say a huge thanks to you guys for watching. Uh, you're the best. Really uh, always just enjoy the engagement and the, the community that we've got here in this channel. So thank you to all of you. Um, all going well. I hope to be out again in about a 
three or four weeks time and so yeah it shouldn't be uh, too long between videos so uh, we'll see you then thank you so much guys we'll see you in the next one cheers bye Okay, moment of truth, I'm back on the trail. It's always a bit nervous when you leave your car in these remote trails, but uh, yeah, we'll see if it's there. See my car and uh, everything still looks attached, so that's good news. <laughs> See you in the next one, guys.